Shepherd. We put in all the Shepherd Productions hair. And I just uh, got out of the shower and had me some coffee. So my hair's almost dry, but I'm gonna, I just got it cut yesterday. It was just really grown out. So I'm gonna put some catwalk. This one is the root booster. And this one is the Queen for a Day Thickening Spray. I'm gonna put some of that on there. Little dabs of it. And right here at my station, I keep a, a little uh, micro cloth rag that I actually, <clears throat> I actually cut it up, it's from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> So I need to put some Okay, I need to put some primer on my face. And then I need to put some uh I think I'm going to use the well this is the vitamin C. This is that Lime Life stuff that I've used before. But they have vitamin C from other companies. I found some at, um, I mostly just really need it on my forehead, but it wouldn't hurt to put it on my face. It's called One Wonder, One Drop Wonder. And this particular one, which you can get this in other kind of stuff in other brands as well, but this one is a universal all skin type oil. Probably told it on the box but it feels really good. So any, because my skin is so dry, any uh, nice oil feels good. Mm -hmm. Said one drop, but I did too. <laughs> if one is good, two must be better, right? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. I'm gonna order some brushes today. Everybody keeps asking me, where'd you get that brush? I don't know. I think it might've come with my, um, with my, it might've come with my hair dryer. But I saw they have, it. really the reason I got it was because it was, is because it was pink. That's really the reason, and I wanted a big one. So I, Amazon has a set that has three different sizes and it's not that bad of a price. So I'll go look on that and um, I'll add it to the, to the list of things. <laughs> use this first because 
I want to use it to actually style my hair. We decided to leave the sides a little bit longer this time. I kind of like it just pulled forward a little bit more in the flat and then have the back a little higher today. That's what I want to do, okay? And then <clears throat> this hairspray holds it. So if you get it like you want it, does that. Now, um, I broke my lighting yesterday, so my lighting is pretty weird today. So, sorry, sorry. Okay, so I got some new brushes from Lime Life, you know, put my, um, whatever it's called, foundation. Oh boy, don't you hate that? It, when you get older, you kind of forget some of the words a little bit. Takes a little bit. Do you ever forget the words sometimes? I mean, you're just talking away and you're just like, what word was that supposed to be? <laughs> you just leave a big gap. Um, um, um. Oh boy. So today, um, update on all the, uh, on all the flood. <clears throat> Some things I can't find when we packed it up. I do have a few more boxes out in the garage. And you know, you wonder, okay, well, <clears throat> if I haven't taken them out of the garage yet, maybe I don't need that stuff, right? I have two big boxes to go to the, to the Goodwill. My front porch still has, we had so much stuff in our front yard, no kidding, that people stopped. They thought we were having a yard sale. We had so much junk from we had to set it outside to put all the flooring and everything in. I thought, oh, Lordy, that's, that's pretty bad when, when they think you're having a yard sale. Oh my gosh. Isn't that bad? That's bad. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm going to contour this round face. And so I'm going to suck in my cheeks. And I'm going to do an S, kind of an S curve up here. Come down and around. <laughs> and I was taking prednisone. I'm going to blame prednisone on me gaining a little bit of weight. I haven't weighed myself, but I can tell you, this round face is rounder than it was. It really is. Okay, then I'm going to put it up here on each side because, you know, the perfect face supposedly is an oval. Well, this is definitely round. Do, do. Okay, then we got this way cool brush that's um it's a blender for um contouring. Is this so nice? Oh I love this. Now they do have nice brushes other places. I do have to tell you that. This is not the only place. This is a place my daughter started selling this and so I started by actually I started even selling it. Um from her so that, and my other daughter buys it from me. <laughs> so, I mean, if you really want to buy it, I'll, I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the description below my Lime Life store. They, they're kind of expensive, but you get a lot of them. And the thing about the makeup, it is kind of expensive, uh, compared to, you know, like Walmart or even Walgreens and stuff. But the thing is, it lasts me forever. It just keeps on lasting and lasting and lasting. Now, I'm gonna put some, uh, we now have a liquid hi I, um, highlighter, and I'm gonna put some under my eyes. And I'm gonna put some down here on my chin and on my nose and certainly up here. Okay, now I have a blender brush for this. Um, well, this one is 
a soft highlighter. This is highlighter, so I'll use it there. I do want this to be lighter here because then it'll show up my Now, I noticed that there's a little bit of a line showing there, so we're gonna do like this. Okay, so this highlighter, we just only wanna keep my chin there. We don't wanna spread it all out. I only wanna keep my nose. And these lines in my forehead, we're gonna try to make them disappear. And this I would almost maybe even just use my finger because I have those, I always say it looks like my bags are packed. <laughs> oh boy. Some people do get surgery and they have that, I've seen stuff advertised that you can put on there and it, you know, shrinks it up. I've also heard of people using hemorrhoid cream. I haven't done that either. But. You know, I might try it. <laughs> Put some of my eyes to use for. Right on my nose. Okay, so then when I do this, I forgot to do this, I'll show you. Under my, here. I didn't do it under my, my bone, my the cheek bone, or you know, my chin and everything. And uh, if you want to kind of disguise your double chin, then you gotta use your blender so it doesn't look like you have just a dirty throat. Oh, that's a little bit still not blended in that great. Well, I'm gonna put powder on my face. Now, I can't wear powder on my, um, I can't wear it up here in the T, you know, the T zone because I have such dry skin. I, I just, it's too dry. And so I'm gonna get my, I have a little brother label maker. Some of these I have memorized because they're blue and then inside they're eyeshadow. And then some of them are the pink and they're blush. I, I know that, but this is pink and it's the regular um, powder, so I'm gonna put it on this part of my face. I can do that, but I can't do it up in here because I'm just too dry. It would look terrible. And I have a little pimple right there. Oh, that's another thing that you can um, take this highlighter, and if you want your lips to look bigger, and you can Put it just above your lips. The light color, the white. The highlighter. Not fun. And then, if you want to use the contouring, that's this one. I know it's this one because it's bigger and it's black. You can take the contouring and put it just under your lip. Yeah, okay. So I am, I think I'm gonna use, I don't really have eye primer, I don't think. I'm gonna put this on each eye. Use the highlighter as a primer on my eyelids. Now I, I think I'll wear this blush today. I have this and then I have one that's, um, anyhow, it's, um, it's more of a, what's the color I'm trying to say? Peach, it's a peachy. This is more pinky. Okay, so then I'm gonna take and put some blush on. But since I can't find the peach blush, I actually made a video yesterday and I kept dropping everything. I broke the light. I, I made the biggest mess of everything. So finally I just thought, I'm not doing this video and I just deleted it. It's one of those kind of days. And then I'm gonna put some blush. And I'm gonna keep it back a ways because of my round face. 
and I don't want to drag it down. So I'm going to keep it back here and up. Back here and up. That looks pretty good, huh? Okay, and then I'm going to wear, what eyeshadow should I wear today? I was thinking about wearing some browns this off. I have a bunch of these little deals right here. And I hate for it to look so dirty, but you know what? It is kind of, it is kind of dirty because I use it. Okay, so then I'm going to take and use um, this eye brush, soft eyeshadow. So I don't, almost don't even have any of the light stuff left in here, but I'm going to barely got some in there. I have some in another one, but I'm going to put it up high like that. And then I'm going to take this one. This one here is a is a MAC brush. It's MAC and I got it at the Ulta Beauty Supply in town. And that's the first time I ever used a really nice brush and it was like, oh my gosh, that's nice. And it did make a little bit of a difference. So if you can afford to get a fairly decent brush, you know, just get one or two even. Let's see, I, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this kind of a flaky gold, if you will. It's, uh, I'm gonna use that today. I know I'm 70. And it actually has a little bit of um, flex in it, you know, like, um, kind of like, it's not glitter, but it's a little bit, oh, getting that on my face. It's got flex in it. That seems kind of fun. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, go ahead and curl my eyelashes. Oh, I wish I would have plugged in that. Um, the heated up one from Timu. I'll tell you what, as silly as that is, it actually works pretty good. I know Amazon sells them too, and um, the heated eyelash curler, it actually works good. And I'm gonna use this brown, this darker brown. Yeah, I got one person told me, said, uh, beauty, op uh, a beauty, I don't know what she said. Makeup artist, you are not. She said, I wear it too dark for people my age. So. And. Maybe. Then I've got this nice fluffy brush. Now, honestly, you can get brushes. Honestly, you can get brushes at the Dollar Tree. And some of them aren't that bad. This is a nice big fluffy one. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna blend it all together like that. That's nice, right? I think that's nice. And then I'm gonna take just a tad bit of this red looking. These are colors if you order it, if you say, I want to order it for blue eyes, or I want to order it for green eyes, or I want to order it for brown eyes. This is what they put together for blue eyes. Since my eyes are blue. Mm -hmm. And I want to do just a little deal like that. Yeah, that's not bad, right? Eyeliner pen which works pretty good. Um, I've got a mirror right down here, so how come I'm, and maybe if I held it up like this and got closer, then you can see. I'm doing and then to put it on my eyelid I can either kind of stretch it out like that 
and do a nice line. And have a very gentle line on. Uh -huh. That's what I think we'll do today. And then it's called Perfect Mascara. Now, the thing about this particular one is it's not waterproof. So I put it on first. Then I'm going to put the waterproof mascara on, on top of that. I like waterproof. Sometimes I put only waterproof. Anyhow, my mother-in-law, her broken arm is healing quite nicely. In fact, we go to the um, orthopedic doctor tomorrow, and I almost think they'll take the plastic cast off, and she'll be so happy. She's been actually having therapy, so they were able to, they were uh, allowed to take off her plastic cast to do therapy, and so she said it's been, it's been good here because I got like mascara a little bit up there I was gonna do like that cover up the mascara and because this is waterproof I put a little bit on the bottom Now they have a they one of the uh, brushes that they sent is a lipstick brush, and I was getting kind of a kick out of that if I can find it really fast, because there's a lot of brush here. I'll show you. This whole set is like, like a lot of oh, a lot of brushes, so I don't have memorized which one is which, but I think this might be the perfect lip. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the thing of it is, I always feel like I need to, oh, I didn't do my eyebrows either yet. You know what? Let's use, let's use my eyebrow pencil on my lips. Because it's brown, you know. So, let me see. That's kind of cool. You, I have to outline my lips because I have these old lady lines here and that causes me to, um, it'll run, you know, my lipstick will run up those silly little lines, right? Okay, so while I have the, while I have the lipstick brush and the lipstick, now you can buy lipsticks on palettes too, uh, you know, where it's like an eyeshadow palette. Mine is on a stick, but I want to give it a try. And I'm using this color, which is, I don't know if this has a name or a number. Let's check it out. Um, I can't read it. It's, it's gone. 
but it's a little bit mauvey. Well, I do have to say that the lipstick brush is nice. Very nice. I like it. I do like it. And then I'm gonna put some little bit of, a little bit like of a gloss, and this one is called Humble. Maybe I could be humble today. We should be humble, right? I am so thankful. I, I have to tell you how thankful I am about, you know, all of these hurricanes and and all of these people with their houses. I mean, they're just gone. They're just flooded and they're not even just flooded. They are gone. Oh. And I was crying about having my house, you know, flooded and had to have it redone. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I can do this so you can see it is good. This is how I do my eyebrows. Eyebrows as a 70 year old lady. Let's see. So I come in here on both sides, like about even with this. And then I'm gonna come up underneath there. And I'm gonna go straight for a little bit. Straight up underneath and straight and then down. And that's all the thicker I really want mine. Some young women, well, some older people do too, but okay, so I'm gonna go under here and go straight and then I'm gonna come around like that. On top, mostly. The bottom one, I'm gonna go straight and then around. Now I hooked this one a little bit more than I hooked this one. Yeah. And I think what I'm using is a medium brown. Yeah, medium brown. And on the blush that I'm using, um, in the Lime Life, it's number one. I don't think it has a name, but sometimes I do use more peach, peachy, but this one is more of, well, let me see what has a name. Kind of fun when they have a name. Oh, drop my glasses. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, let me pull it out. Oh, it's number one and it's called Alive. Oh, that's good. That's a good name. Okay. All right. So there's that. Now I'm going to put some of this uh, eyebrow gel. Now, if I'm just whizzing through this and not talking, I can do this pretty fast. And if I'm just going to go run to the town or something, I'll do it really fast. I nearly always do my eyebrows because I don't have any left after, I guess after plucking them all those years, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I gotta put some earrings on and, and put me some perfume. I wear Eternity by Calvin Klein. Actually, I ordered this on Amazon also because I wasn't at a store and I was running out. And then I need to do the finishing spray. You can get e.l.f. finishing spray or all different brands of finishing spray, but I think it really makes a difference. I really do. I think it kind of just blends it all together and molds it together. However, my hair is natural curly and when it gets wet, it starts curling up, wadding up. This one might work nice. Yeah. This is an old, old, old one. From years gone by. Old, old, old. Oops. 
Yeah. And then I need to grab a pair of earrings. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. It's uh, free and it really helps my channel. <laughs> and if you like this video, oh, that won't stick. Give me a thumbs up and like and, oh, there we go. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Have a happy day and I'll talk to all you good people later on the next video, okay? Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Have a very blessed day. God bless you all. Bye.